This is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. 60 miles of beautiful sunny beaches, attractions, and more than 2,000 restaurants. With amazing culinary options, the beach has become a true foodie destination. Our host, Chef Amanda Freitag, loves Southern hospitality, great food, and healthy competition. So she's here to set up a Chef Swap Challenge. I'm Amanda Freitag, and this is Chef Swap at the Beach. Today, Amanda will take two local chefs out of their comfort zones and swap them into each other's kitchens. What? On each episode, our chefs will have no idea where they're going or what food they'll cook. Maybe an appetizer, an entree, or a dessert. They'll grab only one ingredient to bring with them, and they'll have just 60 minutes to make Chef Amanda and local culinary experts Dylan and Johanna a dish that might earn them their very own Chef Swap knife and major bragging rights. It's time for Chef Swap. Today on Chef Swap at the Beach, I've swapped Heidi at Hook and Barrel for Big Mike at Big Mike's Soul Food. I remember my mom cooking in the kitchen and one of my favorite things that she used to always fix for me was meatloaf. And I just loved the way she made her meatloaf. And she knew it was my favorite. Anytime I just kind of hinted that I wanted my favorite, next thing I knew it was on the table. Every time I think about meatloaf, I think about her. That's one of my little heartstrings, I guess you would say. Born and raised right here in the Race Path area of Myrtle Beach. I couldn't ask for a better place to live. When I was about 12, 13 years old, I had my first job working in the restaurants. I started off washing dishes. Next thing I knew, I was back there doing the clams and making she crab soup. I wouldn't have it any other way. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. In 1992, I moved to Myrtle Beach. I was a single mom with two children, and I had to figure out how I was going to make a living. I came up with this business plan to open up this bakery cafe, and I had nothing, no collateral, nothing. I would get my kids up in the middle of the night and take them in and bake the bread and start making the cakes. And then when it was time to take them to school, I would get them off of the little bean bags that I had them sleeping on, get them ready for school and take them to school. After being in business for 20 years, I wanted to have a restaurant to really focus on local cuisine. All four of my children moved away. Five years ago, within a year's time, they all decided to move back to Myrtle Beach because they love the beach. And two of them decided to come work with me in the new restaurant. My daughter, she's um, our marketing director. Ben grew up in the restaurant. He's the director of operations. We just try to get better every day at what we're doing. I can't wait to see these two chefs in each other's kitchens. Hey, Chef Amanda, what hey, are you Mike, doing how's here? how's it going? Great, great. I'm Chef Amanda. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi ben. I have a challenge for you. I'm ready. OK, I'm, I'm going to challenge you to a chef swap. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> so in this envelope, it tells you where you're going to go, the chef you're going to swap with, and what you're going to cook. It could be an appetizer. Uh -huh. It could be an entree. It could be a dessert. Before I give this to you, you have to think about one ingredient that you would bring okay. that would make magic to your dish, no matter what it is. What do you think? It's on you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take some fresh shrimp right off of the coast of South Carolina. I think I'll do some yams. Yams? Yep. OK. Yep. Now let's find out where you're going. OK. Whoa. Big Mike's Soul Food, Mike Chestnut. OK. <laughs> Hook and Barrel, Heidi Volkov, appetizer. Sounds challenging. It is. And the other challenge is your chef swap starts right now. And Grab can I bring anybody with me? You can bring your shrimp. Yes, See you in the kitchen. All right, I'll be right there. Do I get time to change clothes? Yeah, I'll give you a few minutes. OK, great, thanks. <laughs> Our chefs bring one ingredient and have 60 minutes to swap restaurants and create a dish that will be a star on that menu, judged on taste, wow. integration, and creativity. Hey, how, how are doing? you? Good, how you doing? Good, I'm Heidi Bukoff from Hook and Barrel. Medium Mike, Big Mike Soul Food. These are some pastries for your staff. Well, Thanks thank for you. having me today. Thank you, ma'am. Just come on back. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good, Good how are you to doing? see you, brother. Good yes, sir. Yes, well, come glad on to be in. here. Back here, we got our big walk in cooler. Great. Whatever you need, we got it. See what I can use? My appetizer for today? 
We got our dry storage over here. Spice rack behind you, anything right. you need. This is our fryer area. We have our flat top. Uh-huh. Of course, we have our six burner stove. We got famous jams going, our delicious brown gravy. Walk-in cooler, walk-in freezer, and then our walk-in fish cooler back there as well. Back here, we got macaroni and cheese, rice and gravy, collard greens, candy yams, you name it, we got it. So, oh, uh, man. I'm in here, lobster, shrimp, I think we have a uh, mahi cut, corvina, swordfish. Oh man, we got all kind of variety to work with today. Wow. We're gonna have you set up here on the left, right here in front of the window. Oh, great. This is Andrew, our PM Sue. Big Mike. How, How you doing, doing, sir? Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Anything you need, he's gonna be hanging out with you today. This is the hook and barrel line. This is where you'll be working today. Not sure what you're doing, but we got induction cooktops right here. We got a fryer. Whoa, wait a minute. I'm used to gas. You don't yeah. have gas? No gas. Okay. This is all electric kitchen. I better be ready for service. What time do you all start here? We start at 11 a.m. OK, well, let's get it. All right. How do you work this? Pretty simple. The hottest is going to be up to 20. You can already see it's heating up pretty Ooh, quick, so. Get hot quick. This is all yours, man. Good luck. Appreciate everything. You're welcome. Thanks, man. OK. What a kitchen. Our chefs can use anything they want from each other's shelves, if they can find it. Let's see, what else do I need? First, I need my glasses to unsteam. It's Delaware Bay seasoning, which I have never tried before. Panko, breadcrumbs. Okay, Mike. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Good. So you've had your tour. Yep. You ready to cook? Uh, I'm working on it. How do you feel about all this? <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's a nice kitchen. All right, you have one hour. One hour. All okay. right. We're going to do it. I'm going to need a pot. And then I'm, I need about a cup and a half of tea. Tea? OK. Sweet tea. All right. You can't go wrong with some fresh brown shrimp. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. I actually was not planning on drinking it. Did what? you put ice in it? Yeah. Oh, I need it without ice. Without ice? OK. Yeah. First, I have to peel these shrimp. Some people aren't familiar with this little tool, but it not only peels the shrimp, but it deveins them. Look how pretty these are. Beautiful. I'm going to start on my potatoes. Just get my water bowling. If you want to with this, you can yeah. do Fahrenheit as well. Perfect. Get a little salt, a little more sugar, cinnamon. Now I'm going to take these shrimp and cut them the size of my little finger. Sweet I'm making an appetizer. Nice. Hey, thank you so much. No problem. So I'm going to put this on the stove and reduce it. There we go. Heidi. Hey. How's it going? It's uh, it's great. How's the swap? It, it's, it's going great. The staff here is awesome. Media Mike has been very helpful. What are you making? A shrimp cake. So that's your ingredient. That's my secret ingredient. I love it. Is it going to integrate on this menu? I, I this think. Is yours. I mean, I haven't finished it yet. So okay. I, I, could, right. I could still. You do not have a lot of time. I'm also here to tell you that. OK, well, let's. Get cooking. Boiling some sweet potatoes. Yeah. And now I need a, a pan to get some grits going. Put a little salt in the water. I'll probably put a hint of pepper in the water. All right, Mike. What do you have going on? What I'm doing is I'm, I've got some grits in here. Ooh. And what we're going to make is a sweet potato grit cake with light cream sauce, shrimp on the top, top with some bacon bits. You looked at the menu, we saw it, and you thought, OK, I want to make this dish. With them doing breakfast sometime, they do seafood also. And then I was wanted to add a little country flair to it with the yams. So. I like that. So you're OK with these burners? I'm getting used to it. I'm still <laughs> used to my gas. But. OK, me too. <laughs> All right, get it done. All right, we'll get it done. How's everything going, Chef? Hey, everything's going great, Mike. Thanks so much for letting me come in your kitchen. No problem, anytime. So, Media Mike, how'd you get in this business? Did your dad make you do it? Kind of following in his footsteps. Uh huh. Ever since he's been in the kitchen, I've been right behind him, so. Cool. When we built Hook and Barrel, we wanted this to be a sustainable restaurant. So, we researched all of our ingredients to make sure that they are produced in a sustainable manner. Where is it coming from? How was it grown? We need to utilize products that are sustainable because I just really want to make a difference for myself and for my family and for my community. Mike, I'm going to give you a job. Yes, ma'am. Could you cut this cabbage and this lettuce super, super thin? I got you. Getting ready to make my cream sauce, a little heavy cream, a little chicken stock in there. 
thicken it up a little bit with a little roux. We got 30 minutes till game time. Whoa, OK, all right. I'm about to go open it soon. You're what? You're opening soon. You're opening soon? We can't be in the way of your customers. <laughs> I hope your guests enjoy my dish. Of course they will. You don't know that. All right, I'm going to put these peppers with my shrimp. I'm going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs, mayo and eggs, and pepper, and salt. Grits is ready. Time to get it cool. Big Mike soul food. We do the fried chicken, of course. That's on the menu every day. Pork chops, grilled fried fish, livers, gizzards, barbecue ribs, meatloaf, of course. Um, then we do our shrimp and grits, our fish and grits. All right, got to get the grits in the freezer. Mike, what are you doing back uh, here? Trying to get it in the freezer and get it set up so we can cut the grit cakes. All right. Just wanted to stiffen up a little bit. You're running out of time, so this is a good idea. This is oh, like yeah, a blast yeah. chiller. That's it, that's it. And you have 15 minutes left. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> What's 15 minutes? We can get it. All right. How hot are your uh, gas stoves running? It's a great question. And you're used to it all the time. They're all eating. OK. And I will say I'm not um, used to using gas for a long time. Hook and Barrels with Sustainable Seafood Restaurant. When we purchased the lot where Hook and Barrel sits, it was filled with longleaf pine trees. Then we used the, the trees from the property to put into the building. We use a lot of super energy efficient equipment. The night before we opened, I was super concerned because I thought, what if we cannot cook on this induction to the pace that we need to cook? But it worked. You know, and since then, we've changed some of our equipment to find better, more sustainable equipment. I'm hopeful I won't overcook or undercook. Andrew, how you looking over there? We're getting there, my friend. How you looking? Yes, sir, I'm looking good. Nice. Got my cream sauce ready. Let me do a, another taste test here. Mm, good enough, make you slap your dog. I'm gonna add some butter at the very end. I don't like to use it in the beginning because it'll make whatever you're cooking brown too fast. I think you might be making these next week. You got your our recipe? You have a recipe? Why didn't you share it with me? Next time. Yeah. Oh my God. I was supposed to put the yams in the grits. <laughs> I jumped ahead of myself. I'm, I'm not quite used to this stove, so I'm I'm uh, having a little bit of issues with whether they were done, ready to turn or not. It's cooking slower than I expected that it would in some spots. Uh, I'm getting ready to um, add my sweet potato to my grits. A little sweaty. People always ask, you know, what do you mean soul food? Uh, I just say it is food that is made with love and care and whether it's just the seasoning in our collard greens or the seasoning in our peach covers, even the time it takes to cook the fried chicken, we care about what we're serving and we take the time and try to make sure it's right. And the potatoes ready to go in with the grits. Tell me what's happening. Well, um, let me, a uh, mm, little bit more um, cinnamon. More cinnamon. You're working up a sweat over uh, here. I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You got this. <laughs> I told you I was going to sweat a little bit. Learn more about the chefs and restaurants featured in this show at chefswap.com. Want to put them on the flat top for a minute? No, I want to put them in the oven. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do that. All right. Okay, Heidi, this is it. The doors are open. You okay? What's happening? It doesn't look. It's working. It's working. Okay. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. I promise you. Fold the sweet potatoes into the grits. That nice orange color there. All right. All right. Going to the freezer. Can't work with us today, too, right? Hey, if you need me to stay here and work, I'll do whatever it takes. Oh yeah. Those those look perfect. Oh, man, you can smell the season on those. Woo. All right, going back to the freezer. One more time, freezer time. So, medium Mike, why don't you give this a taste? Okay. It's my sweet tea reduction on top of the cabbage, so it takes the bitterness from the cabbage a little mm -hmm. bit. Hey, 
baby. Ready to eat. Okay. I have two people eating with me. Can I have six minutes? Five. Five six. more minutes. Six minutes. Five more minutes. Six minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike, got it? Got it. Got it. All right, now let's get these on the plate. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. No problem. We're going to talk later about your recipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's good. Mm. That cream sauce is good. I'm good. Order ready. You know, I tried to do it with just a tiny bit of breadcrumbs. I think if I do it again, I'm going to add a little more. The pressure is on. Let's rock. Your time is almost up. I think they're going to taste delicious. All right, I think I'm done. Time to taste. Dylan and Johanna will help me decide who rose to this challenge. First off, I think it just looks beautiful. Amazing presentation. Concise, clean. Let's taste it. I can taste the bacon, and I love the crunch. Yeah. It's like eating potato chips, but it's so much better. And the <laughs> shrimp is tender. The cook on the shrimp is executed perfectly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big Mike roasted it mm -hmm. in an oven that, you know, maybe he's not familiar with, so I was yeah. a little worried about that. And then all the, the flavors mesh together well. It's happy food. It's like yeah. I look at it, I want to eat it, I feel joyful. I like a dish a lot. What do you think about the flavors? There's a lot of sweetness here. I think that Though there is some black pepper heat, for me, I would like a little bit more of a, a cayenne heat, mm -hmm. something to, to loosen yeah. up that sauce, lift it a little bit. I love the texture of the bacon, although I am looking for a little more texture on the grit cake. Mm -hmm. I think if that had been really crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside, mm. that would have been a full layup. But everything else is really well connected. And I would definitely come here and eat this if it were on the menu. Interesting. I would. Yeah. I am already just impressed right away with her plating. Right. It's impressive right. on the, on the, the medium to start. I'd love I it. I love it. I can't wait to try the sweet tea slaw. Mm, OK. I think what Heidi did by a twist on a crab cake was a really great idea. Mm -hmm. Using local shrimp. Yes. You know, if she put crab on this menu, then it definitely wouldn't fit in. Correct. Right. And that's a nice touch to add sweet tea to the slaw. Gives a nice splash of southern charm. Mm -hmm. And sweet tea is the wild of the south. She used Mike's seafood spice in the aioli. Mm. The, the house seafood spice. It that, works really well with the cabbage mm. and the, and I think the, so and too. the shrimp. It works really nice. I think it needs a little more heat, though. I want some spice. You know, even with the aioli, maybe a little splash of like some sort of hot sauce, mm -hmm. uh, some sriracha on the side, you can just dip. Spice it up. Yeah, she did a good job with soul food and fine dining. I like that. Something different, you know? Yeah. Out the box. There you go. How do you feel? I feel great. You're in a hole. Whole nother kitchen. You've swapped kitchens. <laughs> How did that feel? It was an amazing kitchen. I mean, I've never ran so far. <laughs> I mean, who would ever thought that this little boy from Race Bath would be cooking at one of the top restaurants in Myrtle Beach? Yeah. It's a big honor. Well, I did it. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. It was great. Um, there were some stressful moments. Yeah, but their staff is so welcoming and so helpful. That kind of alleviated a lot of okay. that. Okay, we're about In fact, to... a couple of them want me to come back and work. <laughs> I told them I have my own gig, but. Both chefs brought their A game. Let's see who will get our chef swap knife. Heidi, Big Mike, thank you so much for taking the chef swap challenge. This has been an incredible experience for me to get to know you, your restaurants, and your food, Thank you. and your talents. You are both culinary icons in Myrtle Beach, coming from humble beginnings, and what you've done, honestly, is moving. And I hope everybody's watching and looking at both of you and saying, I want to do the same. Heidi, you went completely out of your comfort zone, went into Big Mike's Kitchen. You brought your shrimp with you and made a delicious shrimp cake over a sweet tea slaw with a seafood spice aioli. Your dish was so creative, and I have to commend you for working so well in that kitchen with Mike's family behind you without your family around. I loved what you did.
Well, thank you so much. It's been our pleasure. Thank you. Big Mike, you went into Hook and Barrel, Heidi's Kitchen, with your yams, and you made a cinnamon yam grit cake topped with roasted shrimp, cream sauce, and crispy bacon. And you really showed us your soul in that kitchen. Thank you. You did it without your family there. That was tough. <laughs> <laughs> But they were with you. They were. And yeah. you got to know Ben and Andrew. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. now you guys are so much closer. Excellent job. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Heidi, Big Mike, the chef swap knife goes to... Big Mike. Oh. <laughs> OK. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Very you. Very well done. All right. Thank you. Big Mike's combination of cinnamon, yam, bacon, and that cream sauce created a profile that was irresistible. We loved what you did. It was so close. You guys are both iconic <laughs> chefs to be wow. able to even do what you did. It was a really hard decision, no joke. You guys are equally matched. So thank you for participating. And thank you for highlighting this culinary community. We love you guys. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. I'm Amanda Freitag. Join me next time as we put two more amazing Myrtle Beach chefs to the test on Chef Swap at the Beach. For more on the chefs and restaurants featured in this episode, visit ChefSwap.com.